Dear student, welcome to my channel. This is the first video on semantic analysis in NLP. In this video, I am going to cover computational semantics, its types, and the basic concept like lexing and lexicon. Now let us start. Syntax. It refers to the arrangement of words in a particular sequence to form a valid sentence or phrase in a language. It focuses on the rules and structure of how words are combined. For example, the correct syntax is the cat sat on the mat and the incorrect syntax is sat the cat on mat the. Semantics is totally different from syntax. It refers to the meanings of words and how these meanings combine to form the meanings of larger units like sentence or phrases. So it works at a higher level. It deals with the interpretation and meaning of word, phrases and sentence. For example, it will check the sentence whether it is meaningful or not meaningful. For example, the cat sat on the mat. So it is semantically correct because it conveys a clear meaning about the location of the cat. Now we can see the non-meaningful sentence. The cat sat on the cloud while syntactically this statement is correct but semantically it may odd unless it is in poetic or fantasy context. Computational Semantics Computational Semantics is a field in computer science and linguistic that focuses on teaching computers to understand and work with the meanings of human language. The goal is to create a system that can automatically build representation of meaning and reasons with them and similar how human can understand the language. Its aim is to create a system that can understand, interpret and generate human language in a meaningful way. For example, three ways that we can achieve the success in using the computational semantics like a building a semantic representation. This involves creating a models that can represent the meaning of word phrases and sentence in the form that computer can understand and manipulate. Next is the reasoning with semantics. This involves Using this representation to draw conclusion, make inference and understand the relationship between different pieces of information and different approaches are there for computational semantics. But now we check with the three approaches which is primarily used in NLP that is distribution semantics, lexical semantics and formal semantics. Distribution semantics. It is based on the idea that words that occur in similar contexts tend to have a similar meaning. It uses statistical method to analyze word usage pattern across a large corpora. Words are represented as a vector in a high dimensional space where the distance between the vectors indicate the semantic similarity. For example, the bank of the river was muddy. Now here there are two senses for the bank. One is financial institution and second is river. Now here we want to disambiguate whether this bank correspond to the river concept or financial institution concept. Now here the other words are present river and muddy and if we check the semantic similarity between the bank river and bank muddy and we can find out the distance is very small that is they are very much similar. So therefore we can make the conclusion that this particular bank is nothing but the river bank. Lexical semantics. Lexical semantics focuses on the meanings of individual words and their relationship with the language. It involves studying the senses of words and the different characteristics or features of the word like synonyms, antonyms, hypernemy, hyponemy, meronymy, etc. and their combinational possibilities. It uses the structured lexical resource like WordNet to understand the word meaning and their relationship. For example, we will take the same example, the bank of the river was muddy. Lexical semantics would check the WordNet to find the differences of the bank from the WordNet and find that bank has a multiple sense that is a financial institution and the side of the river but based on the concept provided by other words like river and muddy it would select the correct sense of the bank as a river bank formal semantics it involves the uses of mathematical and logical tools to represent and analyze the meanings of the sentence it focuses on the relationship between linguistic expression and the world it uses the formal language like that we used in AI that is predicate logic to represent the meaning of the sentence and reason about them. For example, the bank of the river was muddy. The formal semantics would represent the sentence using logical form. 
represent bank as a bank one that is two senses are there mainly financial institution and river bank then we can make the statement like muddy bank to the river so here we can find out that whenever the river and the muddy this particular comes then at that time it is always sense of the river bank the formal representation clarifies that bank to is intended meaning based on the context provided by the river and muddy so we require to use predicate logic and we require to write down all such statements from corpus and based on that we can take the decision now we will see the lexical semantics now out of these three approaches that is the distributional lexical and formal so here we are following the lexical semantics and the methods related with the lexical semantics it focuses on the word meaning sense disambiguation and relationship now we will start with the basic what is mean by a lexeme and lexicon a lexicon is like a detailed dictionary for a language listing all the words how they are written and pronounced and what they mean language processing in computational language linguistic and nlp a lexicon is essential for tasks such as speech recognition machine translation and text analysis it is useful for the language learning and linguistic research like it helps linguistic study the structure evolution and the usage of the word in a language now we'll see the basic unit of the lexicon is a lexeme that is nothing but the single individual word it is a basic unit uh, of meaning in language and it pairs a specific spelling that is orthographic form and pronunciation that is phonological form with a particular meaning orthographic form how the word is written and phonological form is how the word is pronounced symbolic meaning the meaning or concept that the word represents for example orthographic form that is nothing but spelling cat and when we pronounce the cat then actually it is k a e t and its meaning is a small domesticated carnivorous mammal with soft fur short snout and retractile claws run so when we pronounce run it is actually r u n to move swiftly on foot the concept around running or moving quickly so these are the meanings of the run bank so financial institution and the side of the river and when we actually pronounce the bank then it will like b a e n k apple round fruit with red yellow or green skin and firm white flesh lexeme and sense a lexeme is the basic unit of meaning in language and when a word has a multiple meanings each meaning is considered a different sense of that word sometimes when meanings are significantly different they are treated as a different lexemes lexeme the word itself considered as a unit of meaning and sense each distinct meaning meaning or interpretation of the lexeme is called sense now we'll see the example for example lexeme that is verge boundary the edge or the border of something and the example is she stood on the verge of the cliff the next verge is nothing but about to happen because it is also meaning of boundary and it is also meaning that about to happen to be about to do or explain something he was on the verge of tears now for bank two meanings can be possible one is financial institution and one is side of the river an establishment for the custody loan exchange or issue of money the land alongside a sloping down to river or a lake now this is the example for bank and the a uh, financial institution and the river bank bow to bend a weapon for shooting the arrows so these are the two different senses for the bow so first is to bend upper part of the body forward as a gesture of respect she made a graceful bow to audience after her performance and next is the uh, weapon the weapon for shooting arrows typically made of curved pieces of wood whose ends are connected by taut string he drew the bow and released the arrow hitting the target so this is nothing but the lexeme so each lexeme may have multiple senses and the different examples stood for each sense but as a human we can easily understand but for machine we require to take uh, by giving the variety type of helps like for example in lexical semantics we are using the word net and by word net we are providing the variety type of information for that particular word so that computerly computer can disambiguate the meaning of that particular word interconnected lexemes interconnected lexemes use each other to convey a complete understanding of the meaning for example take the example of red blood and ruby a color that can be described as a color of blood or ruby so for defining the red color we are taking the help of blood and ruby 
blood a red liquid that circulates in the bodies of humans and animals so to define a blood we use again red color and ruby is nothing but a red gemstone for example take right and left these are defined in opposition to each other pertaining to the side of the body opposite to the left so in the definition of the right left comes and in the definition of left right comes they are defined in terms of their relational opposition making it clear that they exist as a pair of alternatives thus lexemes are related through various semantic relationship such as synonymy antonymy gradation hypernymy hyponymy homonymy polysemy mero and holonymy entailment troponymy etc so we require to store all such type of information for that particular for that particular word so we can disambiguate that word for that particular sense so this is nothing but all about the introduction to semantic analysis in nlp in the next video i am going to cover all these various semantic relationship which is associated with word and that we are maintaining in our word net thank you